How's it going? Good, thanks. <laughs> Do you fancy... I'm uh... oh, sorry, are you still talking? <laughs> yeah. You can leave now. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. So, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for joining us again. Uh, if you caught the end bit of our last video, we mentioned that we had an action-packed week this week and we were yeah. very excited. So, drum roll. Why are we excited? Chocolate brownies! With, with peanut butter. With Reese's Pieces. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, just a little something about me for anyways, yeah. but peanut butter... Is her life. Yes. Peanut butter is my jam. <laughs> so, um, we're going to be making two versions today. Uh, one which is f lovely filth, Reese's cups, loads of butter. Loads of sugar. Loads of sugar. Then we will be making a second version. Yeah, for me, because I'm gluten dairy free. So we're going to be making gluten dairy free chocolate peanut butter alternatives to the really good ones. Yeah. So let's hope there is nice because yeah, I remember the day of proper peanut butter brownies. I remember the With day. With the Reese's cups. Mm -hmm. So anyway, over to Steph. Yeah. So I've done a little bit of prep. Some of my dry ingredients. I have to hold it up and show us. <laughs> Flour, cocoa powder, salt. On the hob right oh, now. Will... Hello! Over Hello. There. We've, got, oh. we've got another one. We're being fancy today. Being fancy, we got two cameras. So I was doing this prep whilst Carrie was setting up. <laughs> <laughs> I work in TV, what can I say? I like to light things. So I'm doing, doing a little bit of lighting. A little bit. Steph's been very patient. So I've got some chocolate chips and a shitload of butter melting right now. Um, in a bain so we're gonna let that melt down and then we will start to mix in the lovely sugary goodiness and the eggs so um, we've just been melting the chocolate and the butter together and we're about to stir in some sugar what into the into that mixture okay stir it in Do you want to stir while I measure out? Yeah, a further yeah. cup of sugar. Oh my god. I know. It's probably why it tastes so good. It's sweet, it's buttery. Don't judge my baking skills, people. It all tastes the same in the end. So this is the chocolate, butter, sugar. Sugar. All the good stuff going in first. Okay? Yeah. Which we melted in a bain marie, which is uh, basically just a pot of boiling water with a bowl over it. Okay. Um, so next we are going to stir in five eggs. All oh, the eggs. So what would we do if we were going to do a vegan fit version? So if you're going to do a vegan version, get a pot. you yeah. could use um, flaxseed meal with water um, as a replacement. After my first camera job with Carrie, um, when we were then off, after what may have been the most physically taxing six weeks of my life. Um, I'm not a slave driver. <laughs> I, um, it was a tough job. It was tough. It was my first job. I yeah. had no idea what I was agreeing to, but um, I, I remember... A, I have a, Sorry to interrupt. No. I had a, I've got a picture of Steph laid face down on my living room floor, exhausted. And I think that was... was that, that was that, day two? That was day two. It was a six, six or eight week job. It yeah. didn't get much better for her. After that job finished, I made these brownies because Carrie had made them for me before and they were amazing. I made these and I pretty much lived off that for about three days. And that's all <laughs> I ate. I did not cook. But you, you had kind of like lost, she'd lost quite a lot of weight as well from... I couldn't eat enough. sheer running around. Didn't we work out you were doing something like over 20,000 steps a day? Yep. Well, that's a lot, isn't yeah. it? So I think you can deserve to have three days eating brownies. <laughs> I think I was doing about 40 miles a week. Oh my God. It was the best six weeks of my life in terms of eating whatever I wanted <laughs> and losing weight. I remember you going back to the caterers and asking for second dinner all the time. They called me two lunches, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> they really did. <laughs> so that's all the eggs nearly yeah. in. So what about you, Kerry? What have you been up to this week? I've listening to Oprah Winfrey book um what i know for sure i'm yeah i've just started listening to if it if you haven't heard of it or you haven't read it or get the audiobook because oprah's narrates it herself 
So it is obviously, she's telling you stories about her life and how she's got to the place she has now. But it is really inspiring, like just to basically got me to kind of open my eyes to actually how good you've got it. You might focus on the things that are maybe not going so well or you're not feeling great. But she actually said, no, stop, breathe and realise about mm. what you have got and be thankful for it. And it is like we've, we've both talked about this quite a bit, yeah, haven't we, sure. about the whole gratitude yeah, and kind of like trying to live in abundance and... When you first start with it, it all sounds a little bit like, mm, kind of got to get your head around it. But the more you read about it, the more it kind of does Starts to resonate, stick. It? Yeah, it just stick with you. And the fact that you think, actually, if I'm grateful for everything I got, I've got, you get more. And I definitely think in both our lives, we've kind of thought that way. Mm. And then you do, you look back like at what I, where I was last year and you think, actually, I've now got everything I wanted that I asked for. Yeah. So, but anyway, it's just the fact that she's so lovely to listen to and really yeah. positive. I did cry quite a bit. I was driving back to see my family in Sheffield and, yeah, cried quite a lot of the way. But in a good way, it kind of makes you realise actually how good you've, you have got it. Yeah. So go and, go and read it or listen to her because it's really good. But anyway, back to brownies. <laughs> no, I love Oprah. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. And I think it's, people would be like, well, I don't have that much. Or I, we have an awful lot more than we ever realised. Yeah. Um, I think no matter what your situation, you can always be grateful for something. And I think that's the yeah. message is, whatever walk of life you're from, yeah. be grateful for the little things that you have got. Like she was saying, be grateful that you wake up in the morning. Be grateful that you can put your feet on the floor if you can. Yeah. Be grateful that you've got breath in your body to keep you going. And I think just simple things like that is to... And it really does change your perspective on the little things of like... Yeah, okay, I am still here. Mm. I'm doing good. Yeah. Crack on. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Let's crack on with the brownies. <laughs> I like your eyeshadow. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you know, I've never made this recipe before. Okay. It's a very weird texture right I now. Know, it kind of looks a little bit snotty. It's a but bit... We always end up back to snotty consistencies. Have we put any snails in there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm mixing in flour, cocoa powder, salt, and I'm supposed to just fold it in. We're just adding in the vanilla, which is two teaspoons. I hope we've got enough. We're basically trying to do this with what's left in the cupboard and we've been and done a bit of shopping. Yeah, minimum waste, people. Yeah, yeah so talking about minimum waste, um, I'm trying to do my little bit. So I recently trying to use up all the kind of like bits of beauty products that I've got left over, especially shampoo and conditioner. I'm trying to go zero waste on my shampoo and conditioner so i'm using the lush solid bars at the moment mm. really like the smell of the it's like a purple one um i think it i can't remember what it's called it smells amazing it smells like palma violet but it's really hard to get the actual conditioner onto your hair and i find i end up having to do this on my hair while i'm doing it which can't be good for your hair. So I'm t if anybody's got any recommendations for a solid bar conditioner, mm. put it in the comments below for me. I'd be really appreciative. I've not tried that before. The, I've got the coconut shampoo. It's amazing. Yeah. Love it. And all, all I've now got is a little tray at the side of my bath. And I've got my bar of soap, shampoo, conditioner. No bottles. Nice That's one. what I'm trying to I do. 100% on board with that and um, I'm also at the moment I've just ordered some I'll report back to you actually I've ordered some reusable makeup pads so as opposed to using you put your toner or your cleanser on do that and you throw it away straight away they're basically little towelettes hmm. and you use them and it comes with a little laundry bag and then once you've used them you put them in the laundry and then you can reuse them again Brilliant. Yeah. For the baking pan. Yay! And then but, to add the Reese's. Okay, so I'll go and get that. And I'll put that down here. So we can... Oh, look at this. Mm. So we found this, this little art shop. And he had Salad Fingers artwork. Did you ever watch Salad Fingers? No? Salad Fingers? Salad Fingers. People will know. It's weird, but it's good. Mm. Yeah. Are you all right? You're not supposed to eat that one. I'm not supposed to eat this one. 
Oh shit. Kerry might need to exit the building quickly. Oh no. I'm not gonna die. I'll just get really bloofed and really jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> nice, lucky me. <laughs> so, so Reese's pieces. No. So we're just pushing them in to the mixture. Mm. Push them in. How, how many are we putting in? 12, which I think is just perfect for this size. You want to show them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh baby. It's all tipping. Oh. Oh. Right, so oh. we're going to put these in the oven on a, one oh. eight, on a 180 mm. for how long? I can't remember. I'll have to double check that. Maybe like 30 minutes ish. You're here. Get off me. <laughs> TikTok, 25 minutes later. <laughs> right. Um, we've taken the brownies out of the oven. Um, they were on at 180 degrees on a fan for 25 minutes. They smell good. They look good. Fan to them. Yeah. Oh, so we need to cut them up and we'll show you what they look like. Right, taste time, taste of time. Taste of time, taste of time. I think somebody's excited for brownies, don't you think? In my belly. <laughs> These are some big brownies. Hey there. Have you seen how girl? big they are? Looks like you got yeah. some big brownies yeah. there. They're ridiculous. <laughs> right, well, we're going to leave these to cool. We're going to start making mine. And then Steph is going to do a taste test to see the difference between them. Hi! Round two! Right, so we're now, we've kind of cheated a little bit. Gluten dairy free brownies. It's quite expensive to buy flax seeds, all the rest of it. So we thought we'd cheat. <laughs> we've gone for Tesco's free from milk, wheat, gluten free, chocolate brownie mix. And then we're going to put some, Steph's favourite, peanut, peanut butter. butter. This is yes. a one kilo tub. Yeah. It won't last a long. What you do with this is, we're gonna put eggs in this, but if you wanted to go vegan, what is it you? You'd swap out the eggs for flaxseed meal. Yeah. Um, and we're already using dairy-free butter. Yeah. Or butter alternative. Butter. Butter. <laughs> uh, we've melted 60 grams of dairy-free spread. Spread? Spread? Spread. Spread. Dairy-free spread in the microwave and we're now going to add this mixture and two eggs. Bosh. Simple. Oh, this is really... It's time for the This eggs. is really dry. That's uh, really shaping up for some uh, yummy looking brownies there. Not compared to the other ones, they look shit. Two eggs going in. Here we go. Here we go. The eggs have done it. We've got to report back on our... Um, Snails. Snail facials. Snacials? Snacials? Snacials. It's nice the next morning, but I've definitely noticed that I've come out on some, with some spots. But I don't know whether that's because um, I'm a bit hormonal at the moment. So it might be just be uh, period spots. But then I, my skin, I thought, I do also have like fairly consistent acne for the last few months on my jawline and chin um, and for about three days after we did the face mask then I had great skin and it actually cleared up quite a lot of the acne I had oh, right. um, but then that persists <laughs> reappeared um, so I'm actually going to do another one for funsies and just to see if so nail secretions are the answers to my skin problem. So you can see whether it was a fluke or whether it does actually help with mm. acne. Because that would be a nice little... Uh, if it wasn't a fluke, then I will live in sheet masks. <laughs> or maybe so. I'll just have a pet snail <laughs> on my face. It's time to treat me. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> okay, so that's looking good. So I think we'll get that in the pan and then swirl in some peanut butter. Yeah. I'll let Steph do the honours of... Uh, How much peanut butter do you want? Peanut butter in. This is like... I'm an artist. We're now going to put these in the oven for... What does it say? How many? Uh, 18 for gooey, 22 for firmer brownie. We'll go for gooey, I think. So uh, we'll report back. <laughs> <laughs> Are 
Hello. Hi. We're back. Yeah, so we've moved because um, Manchester's having some lovely weather and it's shining right in. Can't see us. So, second lot of brownies are out. Let me show you. Mm. Look at that peanut butter swirl. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to do a blind test for Steph. Well, she's going to not look. We're going to put a blindfold on her. And she's going to see whether she can tell the difference between the Reese's Pieces and the gluten dairy free ones. Yeah. I think she's going to be able to. I mean. <laughs> okay, right. So close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Face the, face the people. Mm. <laughs> My eyes are closed. I can't see anything. You're going to Okay. I'm really nervous. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I now, can I? Can I open my eyes now? Yeah. Yummy. I'll put it open your eyes. I'll let you eat that one first. Maybe I'm giving it a go. Or... Well, I was, I was like, I think I can hear um, Carrie chewing next to me. Yes, I have no idea which one that was, but very, um, very gooey. Quite nice. Yeah. Good texture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Who knows which way this is going to go. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I open mm. your mouth now? Open your mouth, open your eyes. Well, to be honest, yeah. Reese's taste different to natural peanut butter. Yeah. But if I didn't know that the gluten dairy free one was, I wouldn't know it was not just a yeah usual brownie. Yeah. Really tasty. Thumbs up Tesco. Good good win on the yeah. free from. Well, well, how much was it as well? It was like two pounds. Two, not even two pounds something for. Yeah. Obviously, we don't get as much as we got the other one, but for two pound and Plus then the peanut butter. peanut butter and a couple of eggs. Yeah. Um. It's probably cost us about three pound to make those, so I think to be gluten dairy free, I think that's pretty good going to be honest. And easily made vegan. Yeah. As well. Yeah. So yeah, well, um, not much of a conclusion. We just want to do a bit of baking with you and get to it, have some brownies at the end of it. We win. Thanks everyone for joining this week on our baking adventures. I know we enjoyed our uh, yummy peanut butter brownies. Yeah, they were so good. Mm. Uh, but yes, thanks very much. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. We'd really love it if you would subscribe and join us for more fun next week. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.